check it out. Right here in this incubator is a one month old baby panda. Look at that. The remote forests and mountain ranges of South Central China are home to one of the most famous and vulnerable animals on the planet, giant pandas. They love the cool, wet lowlands with rainwater streams and tall trees to climb, but will venture up to the higher slopes to feed on what can make up to 99% of their diet, bamboo forests. So let's grab some bamboo, suit up, and meet some of the young pandas at the Panda Breeding Center. Hey, you guys hey. back for more. All right, when a pandas are drinking milk, you can really get a close look at them. Look how round the ears are. Love the pattern, white and black. That is the classic panda. I mean, like, what a striking pattern. And the fur, it's so thick. Kind of soft, but also dense, like a soft brush. <laughs> All right, now it's time for some carrots. Oh, here we some carrots here, too. And they love to lean back when they eat carrots and bamboo. You like that, huh? <laughs> One carrot in each hand. I love that sitting position. I'm going to sit that way, too. Pandas are so comfortable. They're so loungy. They're so loungy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're oh, cute. Awesome. This is awesome. You guys are talkative when you have breakfast, aren't ya? <laughs> That's panda language. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want a bamboo? There you go. You gotta peel it. Yeah, peel it first, break it, use those hands. There you go. <laughs> oh, here, here, I got this for you. You want some bamboo? See how he grabs it? Like a hand with that thumb. When they're holding the carrots and the bamboo like this, you can really see that panda's thumb, that special thumb that makes them so good at handling bamboo. <laughs> you want this one? <laughs> wow, vegetarian bears. So relaxed. I love their eating style. Sit back, get comfortable, and munch that bamboo. And that's why bamboo forests are such an important habitat for pandas. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Enjoy the bamboo. <laughs> and now it's time to meet the newborns. He hardly has fur on him. Look at him. Hardly has fur on him, but you can still see that black and white pattern just starting. Yeah, the black and white pattern is on his skin and then his hair grows out of that. Right now, she's helping the baby panda go to the bathroom. Because in the wild, the mother panda does this. The mother licks the baby so the baby will go to the bathroom. There he goes. He's doing it. He's peeing. When this baby panda was born, he was only about the size of my hand, like about the size of a chipmunk. A baby panda stays with mom for up to two years in the wild. They get really big, and they're ready to go off on their own. First, she eats nothing but milk from her mom. Then, she'll start eating bamboos. Now, Sho will feed the baby panda some milk. This milk is from the mother panda. There are twins. One stays with the mom, one's here in the nursery, and then they rotate every five days. <laughs> Just keeps going. What a cute face. In the wild, pandas drink milk from their moms for almost a year and slowly they start eating bamboo. Uh, he's almost done. There he goes. She cleans his mouth. He's so young he can hardly crawl. But every day, he'll get stronger and stronger and stronger. And one day, he'll be climbing those trees and running around in the forest. The scientists here at the Panda Breeding Center are trying to learn as much as they can about panda breeding and behavior so that we can find new ways to help them. 
because pandas are so endangered. Every little baby panda is precious, so they get the best care possible so they can survive into the future. And now with a full belly, it's nap time. Sleep well, buddy.